Hi there. This video is an introductory tutorial to creating questions in Wireless Quizzes plugin for Moodle. You may be familiar with the first steps if you've created questions in Moodle before. Let's go over those now. Log into your Moodle site, go to your course, and click on Question Bank in the Administration panel. On the page that loads, click Create New Question. Scroll down the list to find our question types under Math and Science by Wireless. The Wireless Quizzes extension adds six additional question types to the standard Moodle question types. These are actually the same as the standard Moodle question types, but with largely extended mathematical capability. We'll describe each question type briefly. Close. Embed multiple questions of different types inside a single question. Essay. Ask an open question where the student has space to leave a detailed answer. This is the only type that the teacher grades manually. Matching. Match a list of items to the correct items from a different list. Multiple choice. A standard multiple choice question. Short answer. Ask a question with a small blank for an answer, which is automatically graded. True-false. Ask a question with a true or false answer. We'll now give a generic overview of what a wireless question type looks like. We'll use the short answer type since it is one of the most representative. Click Add to begin. All question types have a few fields for data that is relevant to the question type, such as question text, choices in the case of multiple choice, feedback, and so on. In this regard, the interface is identical to Moodle question types, so we won't focus on that. What Wireless Quizzes adds is a new dialog for handling mathematical behavior called Wireless Quizzes Studio. We can always access it by clicking on this icon. Once we're in Quizzes Studio, the available options will depend on the type of question we're editing. We're using a short answer type in this example, which has the most features in Quizzes Studio out of all the question types. What we'll find here are settings for controlling various aspects of the question in a way that allows mathematical content to be handled flexibly. The different options are divided into four distinct tabs. As we mentioned before, different question types will vary here. For example, the true-false question has no validation tab since the only possible answers are true and false. Let's go over the tabs one by one. To start with, the correct answer field has an integrated virus editor which allows typeset mathematical formulas to be used as a correct answer. This obviously means that the student will have the same editing possibilities for their answer. Below the editor, we also find additional options for the student's input method. The next tab is called Validation. Wireless Quizzes recognizes mathematical input from the student and here we control the details of how to assess this input. We can ask for specific units, control which symbols are recognized as constants, as well as a wide range of format options. Below that, there is the Variables tab. Without this tab, Wireless Quizzes is already capable of a lot. But once we start using variables, we will truly exploit all that Wireless Quizzes has to offer. In this interface, we can define variables to use in several parts of the question. The environment is a computer algebra system, which means that variables can be numeric as well as symbolic. By using some of our random functions, we can make a variable take on a random value in a range that we specify. Then different students viewing the question would have different questions with different answers. This is a typical scenario for use of variables, but with a bit of creativity, there's a whole depth of possibilities. The last tab is called Preview, and the name is pretty self-explanatory. Here we can quickly simulate the evaluation of a student answer in order to test that all of our settings from the previous tabs are working as we intended.
Once you're done with Virus Quizzes Studio, press the OK button on the bottom left or press Cancel to exit without saving any changes. When you're finished editing the entire question, just click Save Changes at the bottom and the question will be added into the question bank. This has been a short overview of how to make a question with Virus Quizzes. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials or visit our website at www.wirus.com.